opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers stay up to date with all things cricket subscribe to crick boss's youtube channel and press that bell icon now the t20 world cup 2022 is a go with the first round proceeding in geelong ahead of the super 12s two exciting games the mobia taking on asian champions sri lanka as uae took on netherlands in the second game and by just the evidence that we've seen in this first day of round 1 this t20 world cup promises to be very very exciting let's recap both these games in our match story first game sri lanka versus namibia namibia were very impressive in the last t20 world cup sri lanka are just coming off an asian championship title in that asia cup this is going to be very exciting sri lanka won the toss and opted to field first in geelong where the pitch seemed like it was too paced but had a lot of bounce Sri Lankan pacers extracted the most out of it at least initially reducing Namibia to 93 for 6 it seemed like all was just done for Namibia but then from there on Jan Freilink and JJ Smith strung together a wonderful partnership a partnership for the ages especially JJ Smith who was very aggressive in his batting the two made sure that they used the ground dimensions really well targeted the longer side of the boundary to get those doubles get those triples while targeted the shorter part of the boundary to hit those fours and sixes gaining 68 runs in the last five overs namibia from one point where they did seem like they wouldn't even perhaps make 130 would go on to score 163 by the end of their 20 overs the momentum was shifting you could see that there was confidence in that namibian side and once they came out to bowl They had their tails up, and how Sri Lankan batters just didn't seem to find any answers to the questions that Namibian bowlers were asking of them. And one stark difference between both the bowling attacks was the fact that Namibian bowlers weren't going short, despite a lot of bounce on offer. They were bowling full, and Sri Lankan batters kept perishing to those deliveries. Namibia knocking out Asian champions and a test-playing nation for just a hundred and eight, making a very, very solid statement. in the very first game in round 1 that they are here and they mean business winning the game by a huge margin giving sri lanka a big setback but the only thing that perhaps sri lanka can take from this defeat in round 1 is that they started asia cup like this and if they are good they are consistent they can actually make it to not only super 12 but beyond but namibia were brilliant in game 1 jan freilink was a judge player of the match for his knock but jj smith was a star as well walked into bat when Namibia were really struggling 90 odd for 6 then strings that partnership with Freiling 30 in almost no time for JJ Smith comes back picks a wicket takes a catch as well his all round prowess is helping Namibia beat Sri Lanka a test playing nation a permanent member in the ICC and sending out a very strong statement to every other team in round 1 and also the one sitting in super 12 as well for the second game of the day uae were taking on the netherlands uae won the toss and opted to bat first on a used track a track where the ball wasn't coming on to the bat and then clausen and pringle brought about their a game with the ball uae were just not in the game with the bat managing only 111 on the board and while the track wasn't the best to bat on 111 was never going to be very competitive and especially the start that netherlands got match so doubt got them off the blocks real quick it seemed like they were going to gun down the target in no time but then started coming wickets and that is where the ua spinners really spun a web around the netherlands batters dren siddiqui was the pick of the ua bowlers getting them those timely wickets which meant that every now and then you had a new batter on the crease and this wasn't a pitch where you can come out and really swing the bat hard other spinners around him assisted him really well which made sure that this chase of 112 that seemed very easy at the start of netherlands batting started seeming tricky in the middle but then a very handy partnership towards the end for the netherlands especially a very calm head from edwards meant that they were home but in the nick of time the game did go to the final over with netherlands just winning the game by 3 wickets Bas the lead was a judge the player of the match for his 3 wickets and also a handy 14 runs with the bat as Netherlands opened their account in round 1 of this T20 World Cup 2022. Now then that wraps up day 1 in this very exciting round 1 
of this T20 World Cup because the quality of cricket, the quality of tracks, it's very competitive and it might just go down to the wire with a lot of these teams wanting to qualify in to Super 12. For everything else around this T20 World Cup and everything cricket, make sure you stay tuned to Crick Buzz.